टुडे नाउ वी शेल डू सम क्वेश्चन ऑफ ट्रियंगल क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ए मैन गोज वन फिफ्टी मीटर ईस्ट एंड टू हंड्रेड मीटर नॉर्थ हाउ फार he how far is he from original position this is a question so this is north this is south this is east this is west this is origin Let man start from O, goes one fifty kilometer, one fifty meter east, and then north, two hundred meter north. Now he is at position B. Now joining OB. So the distance from origin is OB. This is right angle triangle. Therefore, in triangle BAO. O B square is equal to O A square plus A B square is equal to one fifty square plus two hundred square, and this is equal to two two five zero zero plus four zero zero two two zero zero. This is equal to six two five zero zero. Therefore, O B is equal to under root. Six two five zero zero, and this is equal to six twenty five into hundred is equal to twenty five into ten is equal to two fifty meter. So this is the answer. So this is all about our first question of triangle. Now we move towards the second question. The second question is: In the triangle ABC, ABC is obtuse. At B, if AD is drawn perpendicular to CB. Then prove that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square and plus try BC dot BD. This is also called as obtuse angle theorem. So this is answer. Here we have a triangle ABC. We produce back CB and draw AD perpendicular to BC. This is D. So we have the right angle triangle. This is obtuse. Therefore, in triangle ADC by Pythagoras, AC square is equal to AD square plus BD DC square. Now we divide this DC into two parts, DB plus BC, and so this is equal to AD square plus DB plus BC, the whole square, is equal to AD square plus DB square plus BC square plus twice DB dot BC. 
Now we see that AB square plus DB square in triangle triangle ADB is equal to AB square. So we replace this by AD square, AB square plus BC square plus twice DB DB dot BC. Hence AC square is equal to then this is the result, has proved. Now we move towards next question. Question number third. P and Q are, P and Q are make points of CA and CB. In a right angle triangle ABC, we have to prove that four times AQ square plus BP square is equal to five times AB square. Answer. So we are given with a triangle. A B C where P where P and Q are midpoints P and Q are midpoints of A C and C B construction join P B and A Q so We have three triangles, three rectangle triangle in fact, PCB, ACB and ACQ. So in triangle PCQ, PCB, this square is equal to this square plus this square. So PB square is equal to PC square plus C B square. But P C is equal to half A C square so this is equal to A C square upon 4 plus C B square equation 1. Similarly in triangle A C Q A Q square is equal to AC square plus QC square and AC square plus QC is equal to QC is equal to half of BC square this is BC square one four this is question number two now we add together first and two first and second PB square plus AQ square is equal to AC square upon 4 plus CB square plus AC square plus BC square upon 4 and this is equal to this and this is equal to 5 upon 4 AC square similarly this and this is equal to 5 upon 4 BC square therefore we probably by this the four times a q square plus b p square is equal to five times a c square plus b c square and this is equal to a b square in Pythagoras angle triangle a b c and hence the field. so this is our third question now we move forward to the next question, fourth question, question four. In a triangle ABC, 
d is the midpoint of bc and and a e is drawn perpendicular to bc therefore to prove that ab square plus ac square is equal to twice ad square plus bc square upon 2 this is what we have to do this is also called as apollonius theorem in fact this is equal to you take a triangle abc is a triangle d is the midpoint Behind this, draw A E perpendicular to B C. So this is obtuse angle, this is acute angle, and this is right angle triangle. And so, we apply a obtuse angle triangle and acute angle triangle both, and we will combine together to prove the result. So in triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, AC square, this is obtuse and side opposite to this is AC. So AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square plus twice the base CD dot the projection ED. Similarly in acute angle triangle ADB. This is acute and therefore right about this is AB square. So AB square is equal to AD square plus BD square minus twice the base is BD into ED projection. Now we add together AC square plus AB square is equal to this and this twice AD square plus BC square plus BD square and plus twice CD dot ED and minus twice BD dot ED. Now since CD is equal to BD therefore these two cancels together. So what remains is AC square plus AB square is equal to twice AD square plus what about this CD square DC square plus VD square now since BD is equal to CD D is the midpoint therefore this is equal to twice twice cd square so this is one result which is very important result called apollonis theorem now in order to get our result we change here twice ad square plus we convert cd cd is half of bc so this is twice dot bc square upon 4 this is 2 therefore this is equal to twice AD square plus half BC square AC square plus AB square so this is the final result upon this theorem is proved now next ABC is a right angle triangle at C if P is the length of perpendicular length of perpendicular from C C to A B and A B is equal to C 
BC is equal to A and CA is equal to B. Then prove that first is PC is equal to AB. Second is 1 upon P square is equal to 1 upon A square plus 1 upon B square. Answer is so we are given with a rectangle triangle like this ABC where P is a perpendicular drawn. This is perpendicular drawn on AB. Drawn from C, therefore this is C. In fact, we have to change the vertices. And this is A, B. This is drawn perpendicular to this. This is A. This is B. And this is C. So, as you know, area of triangle ABC ABC area of triangle ABC half base into height half P into C also this is a rectangle triangle half base into height is equal to half A into B. Therefore, half PC is equal to half AB. Therefore, PC is equal to AB. First result is proved. Now, second, as we know, ABC is a rectangle triangle. Therefore, C square is equal to A square plus B square. And therefore, from equation 1, P is equal to AB upon C. Inverting the result, therefore, 1 upon P is equal to C upon AB. Now we put down the value of C. Squaring both sides, so 1 upon P square is equal to C square upon A square B square. Now putting down the value of C square from here. So this is 1 upon p square is equal to a square plus b square upon a square b square and hence 1 upon p square is equal to divide this 1 upon a square plus 1 upon b square and hence this is a very important question.